Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. First thing, let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it kinetic type 007. Make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, 15 seconds long and press OK. The first thing we need to do is to select the type tool. Then click on our composition and write our first word. I will write rotation and let's adjust the size to have an excellent scale in our composition. Then let's go to effects, stylize and select CC Repertile and expand it down until we have enough copies to fill the composition. Now let's right click over our timeline and go to new solid. Let's make it black and move it under the text layer. Then let's select the text and the solid and right click and choose pre-compose. Give it a suitable name and press OK. With our new composition selected, let's double click over our ellipse tool and this will make a circular mask around our composition. Now with our composition selected, let's press Command or Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then let's press M to open the mask properties. And on the mask and expression, let's reduce it to a negative value, making the mask smaller. To see how smaller the mask is getting, we can hold Shift and press R to up the rotation properties without losing the mask properties. Then adjust the rotation so we can see the mask size. Duplicate this layer and repeat the process until you have enough copies. When you are happy, let's turn the new copies off so we can focus on the animation of the first comp. So animation wise, we are only going to animate the rotation. So let's press R to open the rotation property and mark our first keyframe. Let's move the timeline a little a few seconds and change the rotation value to 1. So we have a 360 degrees rotation. Then copy this keyframe and paste it like 10 to 15 frames afterwards. So we have a nice pause. And before we adjust the animation curves, let's apply an expression to make this rotation loop forever. Hold the Alt key, click on the rotation stopwatch and open the expression editor. And let's open the expression library and for the loop we will choose property and loop out type. And now our rotation loops perfectly, which is great. But we need to adjust the speed of the animation so it looks nicer. So with our rotation property selected, let's click on our graph editor icon. Select the keyframes and in our curve editor make them easy and ease. And let's adjust the Beziers to make the animation more interesting. Give it a little preview and great. Now it's time to turn the other layers on. So on the first copy, let's press R to open the rotation property and let's click and hold Alt to open the expression editor. And let's write a quick expression. And it goes like this. Var linked property equals and using the pick whip tool let's connect the rotation of the main comp so this line declares a variable named link property and assigns the rotation property of the primary layer then let's write another variable var delay equals 0.1 this line sets the delay variable to 0.1 seconds this value represents the time delay that will be applied to the animation you can change this value in case you want to adjust the delay time and one more variable, we're going to call it var d time equals time minus open parenthesis index minus one close parenthesis times delay. This line calculates the delay for the current layer animation. Time is the current time of the composition. Index is the layer index number in the layer stack. In After Effects, each layer is assigned an index number with one being the top upmost layer. Index minus one times delay calculates the total delay to be applied based on the layer's position in the stack. And then one last line, linked property, period, value at time, open parenthesis, the time, close parenthesis, and that's it. This line gets the rotation value of the main comp at the calculated delay time of the variable and applies it to the layer where the expression is used. This means this layer rotation will mimic the rotation of the main comp, but with a specific delay. Great, now we just need to apply this expression to all the other copies and preview it, and that's it. We have an excellent kinetic typography motion to show to everyone. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to check my other kinetic typography tutorials, and remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.